Silicone brush up mold by a nameless artist. This method is called the high pour. I take my silicone bucket and I pour a thin stream of silicone from as high as my arms will reach. What this does is it forces out any trapped air in the silicone. So no air bubbles. I'm using a chip brush to push the silicone all around the piece, making sure to get in all the nooks and crannies. Using a tongue depressor or a paint stick, you can scrape up the excess silicone and glop it right back up on top. You have to chase the silicone for a little bit, but uh, it, it will set up and the nightmare will be over. Here I am using the hose for my airbrush compressor in order to force silicone into the little corners of the eyes. Air bubbles love to hide in there. And same with uh, the underside of the nostrils. So take a little time and make sure you get out all the little air bubbles. Here I had a paintbrush bristle get stuck. It happens a lot and my OCD didn't like it being there. Oh, push that button. Oh, and screw that lid. Pour that silicone. So good. Oh, I love watching silicone. It's so slow. Here's Catalyst. This silicone is a tin cure silicone and it is a 10 to 1 ratio. Um, don't ask me what that means. I have, I have no idea. I don't do numbers. Um, but you can, you know, mix it and, uh, oh, uh, yeah, so this is a thickening agent called Cabasil. Um, I believe I mix two cups of Cabasil into it to thicken it right up. It turns it into a cake frosting type of consistency. And uh, you get quite a quite a forearm workout mixing silicone in general, but mixing thickened silicone. It, it it's it's not easy. Uh, it's not hard either. What am I trying to say? Anyways, after you get that mixed, you can use a tongue depressor and uh, wipe it on. And what you're doing here is you're filling in any of the thin spots that your first couple layers of silicone uh, might have missed. And you're filling in undercuts so that your jacket mold, which is what happens after this step, um, so your jacket mold will remove easily. So here's the finished product. Uh, looks like a silicone cake. And I'm going to turn it around and you can see all the sides. And uh, my next step will be doing the fiberglass jacket. So I just want to say thank you for watching. I appreciate it and uh, stay tuned.